mom passed away, I was like, you know what? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I kind of navigated myself in a different direction. Like, you know, because I was, you know, I'm, I'm a big family guy. I'm a big, you know, if I love you, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Literally to death. I'll go, I'll go to war for you. Mm-hmm. And when that happened, I was like, okay, man, like, what am I living for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, my big bro died, my, my queen died. Like, what am I really honestly living for? Mm-hmm. And I looked at the things that in my life that I still have. And, you know, I still got family out here, too. Mm-hmm. And I still got my, my, my homies, which I don't call my homies. I call them my bros. Mm-hmm. Fox, um, Ozzy, of course, Blaze, mm-hmm. you know, j- just the whole team. You, you you see how I talk. I say we all the time. Right, I, it's, yeah. it's, it's never me. And from there, like, I kind of embedded my life to you know making this thing better than I found it you know what I'm saying in terms of giving back to this lifetime as opposed to trying to see what I could grasp from it so I, I, I want to dish out as much as I can because I got an expiration date I don't know what I'm going to check out man yeah. but you know when I do and when it's set in stone I'll be all right. I'll be at peace with it because I gave it. I gave it everything I had to it. You know what I'm saying? back on the major purpose podcast today i think this is about to be my favorite episode you know i say this about every episode but i mean it again once today we have somebody real major just go ahead and tell them who you are it's your boy gino octane you already know the man with the plan gino octane what up bro you, you already know we appreciate you for having me for sure for sure go ahead what's uh what's gino octane what is that um it's crazy. Jack of all trades. Mm-hmm. Jack of all trades, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's a, it's a longer saying than that when they say jack of all trades, but a master of none. Mm-hmm. But the real saying is jack of all trades, a master of none, but it's better than being a master of one. You already know. <laughs> See, mm-hmm. what I'm pointing with it, whatever, whatnot, Better than man. being a master of one. <laughs> uh-huh. What do you mean by that? Um, Just, just trusting your gut and everything that you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just, just chiming in, just... Locking in, yeah. focusing on, on, on what you believe in and just going hard for it, despite what you may hear or mm-hmm. despite what or all stacked against you. Mm-hmm. Just just going just going bunkers right. for what you believe in, man. And this all this whole octane stuff, man, uh it's bigger than me. It's mm-hmm. always been bigger than me. I'm gonna forever preach that. Mm-hmm. Um just Gas prices going high, so it's, I, I, I can't <laughs> well, even. That octane I, I, the octane, <laughs> you know, the octane definitely hitting different right these days, For man. Sure. But nah, just uh, just to give you the backstory, you know, about how we came up. Um, mm-hmm. I came up from North Miami on the west side, and, and you know, and you know, much like every you know street guy or hood guy, you know, you face all the trials and tribulations of the streets, and you know, or whatnot, man. But how I came up, I came up a bit different, mm-hmm. you know, in the sense of the obstacles I had to face. Mm. And I was in a situation where money couldn't save me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Only people could. Mm. And the team, the team definitely saved me. And I always told myself, man, like, you know, I'm a I'm a pay an obligation back to my neighborhood in the sense where mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to clap them back, man, you know what I'm saying, for coming through for me, man. So sure. I, I tailor the brand named Octane, man. Octane is just it's a molecule that never don't burn out, you know what I'm saying? When you put you put that fuel in your car, mm-hmm. you know, you need more gas when it go on the E, you know right. what I'm saying? It's a molecule that never burns out, you know, it goes through your emission system, it comes back out. So I'm like, damn, I want to be like that. Right. I never want to burn out, you know what I'm saying? So 
I like man, I'm saying just it, it, it sound good for me. It, it branded good for me, and mm -hmm. it's an enterprise, man. So I molded everything that I do in my daily life uh -huh. around our team. Right. And ever since then, that 2013 day, man, we we just been taking off. We've been skyrocketing. Now you be you keep saying we, you keep saying this team. Hey, do me a favor, cut that fan, somebody. Mm -hmm. Now you keep saying we, you keep saying the team. Yeah. Motherfucker, what is what is it that you do, man? Go Gino Octane. What is Gino Octane? What is Octane? I get where it came from. What mm -hmm. is it that you do, man? Okay, the more compass of it, right. uh, me, I'm a mixologist. Mm, mixologist. A mogul mixologist. Mogul mixologist. Not just your average guy who just probably whip up a drink, but I I I, I tailor things up to a different manner. Mm -hmm. Um I guess what you asking is like what is whole mixing drink, open bar, brunch, oh, all, tell me, all, tell me everything. All bro. this tell stuff came about. Bro. Okay, uh, when COVID happened, man, we took the back seat. Mm -hmm. When I say we the team, um, we are known, formally known for like having events where in the city where we have basketball tournaments. Mm -hmm. You know, we normally know for nonprofit, and we took the back seat. Yeah, we, you know, when COVID happened because we it, obviously we couldn't do no events. Right. So I always had this this dream where I opened up a restaurant lounge where. It's unique dining experience where the mixology is different. Mm -hmm. I, I can't get into depth of it because, you know, we're still going through the legal process and everything like that. So I'm not going to, you know, put my foot where my mouth is just yet, man. But mm -hmm. just know if you know me, right. everything we ever did, we always stayed in a unique lane. Okay. And when we came about with this whole, this whole experience, I'm like, all right, man, COVID hit. We stuck. We in the crib, we on quarantine. Like, mm -hmm. let's lock in on this dream for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, th this was meant to happen because if quarantine didn't happen, we probably would have still been doing non profit you know, giving back and kept pushing the, you know, the dream, which is now reality, on a back burner. Mm -hmm. So, this is something we could have did a long time ago, mm -hmm. where we could have um, create Octane Factory, mm -hmm. you know, the ultimate mixology experience a long time ago, but. One thing that was very important, very vital, was ownership. Mm -hmm. So my cousin, shout out to bro, and my other cousin, shout out to Dirt Money. They, um, they both, you know, we both sat at the table. They, they, you know, one of my cousins is a GC. He's a general contractor where he builds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying for a living. And my other cousin, he does flips, and he also helps builds too. But okay. he, he more so, you know, buying flip, buying flip, and so on and so forth. Okay. So they like, hey, G, if you if you going through this, you know, our team factory right let's buy land let's buy some commercial real estate and let's build this thing from the ground up so that way it's the all money in situation okay and that way we could all keep our residuals we could all we could all go straight so right and i i told him i said listen i don't care how long this take you know i think rick ross said this you know i don't care how long it take as long as you move correctly right you know what i'm saying like let's take the stairs on this like i, I really want to take a stance on that you know what i'm saying and you know, we, we, we nod our head and, and it was crazy. Mm -hmm. it, it was crazy. Like the very next day, I was I was driving down David Road Extension and, and, and we, we caught this commercial piece of real estate, you know, and made some phone calls, got down to it, man, and we ended up buying the land. Nah. Yeah, we ended up buying the, we ended up buying the land. Okay. So now, you know, when we got in the process, you know, going through the architectural structure, going through Davy, you know, the 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 the, the land is in Davy, so we got to go through, you know, you know, the city councils, the zoning department to see how, you know, what rules and regulations we could, you know, go ahead and go about, you know, building our infrastructure. And so, mm -hmm. and it's a lot. So you <laughs> own the land. Yeah, we own a lot. Where Octane Factory is at. Yeah, it, it's crazy too. Like it's a crazy thing. Like. Ozzy would tell you, anybody would tell you, I'm a big Nipsey Hustle fan. I'm a huge Nip Hustle fan. Okay. And this is how I knew like this lot was for us. Uh Nipsey address to his marathon store mm -hmm. is 3420 West Lawson Avenue. All right. The address to the lot is 3240 mm -hmm. David Road Extension. It's the same four numbers, but just, you know, different street, right. yeah, different, different sequence and stuff. I'm like, ah, man, like, mm -hmm. I, I squeezed the hell out of my, you know what I'm saying? My <laughs> cousin thought, like, well, this, this is it. We're like, I man, it gave me goosebumps. It gave me chills, man. And then, you know, you know, we locked in on it. And so, and 
Man, well, we, 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 it's nobody's issues. You know what I'm saying? I was told a long time ago, nobody gives a fuck about you, you know what I'm saying, your dreams. Nobody don't have to buy into it. You know what I'm saying? Which, which is respect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. Everybody got their own thing going on. So, the Octane ain't been out here for a minute. Mm-hmm. You know, we, me and Ozzy, we bartend hella events, a lot of events. We made a lot of relationships with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. We grew over the years. We grew over the time being. Mm-hmm. And... We like, okay, man, you know what? Let's do something right. Let's generate some cash mm-hmm. to help ease off, you know, the revenue flow for, you know, the the, the building process for the Octane Factory. Mm-hmm. So we came up with the $100 brunch. Mm-hmm. We came up, not really a brunch, open bar. I don't want to say brunch as a forefront because brunch is a plus. Right. We know for mixology, so we want to put push the mixology side out first. So we came up with this open bar brunch where... You just play one fat fee and everything else is free. Mm. You know, top shelf situations. You know what I'm saying? We're talking Da Julio's of the world, the Reposados of the world. You know what I'm saying? Anejos. <laughs> you know? <laughs> XO, VSOPs. Yeah. You know, g- good stuff. Good situations. For sure. And, we, you know, we've been throwing galas. We've been throwing we basketball games, like I, I stated earlier. We've been throwing a lot. Wait, wa- wait, 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 wait. You give you give you you give them too much. Cut take away, way, way back, man. Wait, wait, wait. Who, all right, you talk, you talking about Octane. Who's Gino, man? Who's Gino? Before Octane. Because Gino come before Gino Octane. Tell the people who who's Gino, man. Because you got a lot on your plate right now. I want to say I, I, I look, I, I'm inspired when I hear stuff like that. That's why we had a Major Purpose podcast. Because it's just... I appreciate you, It's bro. Octane for real. That yeah. shit fuel. Like, I hear that. This man said he owns the lot of where his own place is at. Man, where, where, where did it start at, man? Where did you, Who's Gino, man? <sighs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Gino died in 2007. Mm. Um, my brother passed away in 05, and my mom died in 07. You know that's why I walk around with the two razors on because that 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 pain it, like it cut every day. Damn. Um, it's when my mom passed away, I was like, you know what, like you know what I'm saying. I, I kind of navigated myself in a different direction, like you know. Cause I was, you know, I'm a, I'm a big family guy. I'm a big, if I love you, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Literally to death. I'll go, I'll go to war for you. Mm-hmm. And when that happened, I was like, okay, man, like, what am I living for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, my big bro died. My, my queen died. Like, what am I really honestly living for? Mm-hmm. And I looked at the things that in my life that I still have. And, you know, I still got family out here too. Mm-hmm. And I still got my, my, my homies, which I don't call my homies. I call them my bros. Mm-hmm. Fox. Um, Ozzy, of course, Blaze, mm-hmm. you know, j- just the whole team. You, you you see how I talk. I say we all the time. I, right, it's, yeah. it's, it's never me. And from there, like, I kind of embedded my life to, you know, making this thing better than I found it. You know what I'm saying? In terms of giving back to this lifetime as opposed to trying to see what I could grasp from it. So I, I, I want to dish out as much as I can because I got an expiration date. I don't know what I'm going to check out, man. Yeah. But, you know, when I do, and when it's set in stone, I'll be all right. I'll be at peace with it because I gave it, I gave it everything I had to it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can't go home and look in the mirror not knowing I ain't give a honey. Yeah. I won't sleep right at Like That just never been me. I, I, I got to go. I got to max out, you know? So, so you say that never been you. Who, who, who was the Gino... Uh before your mother and your brother died? <laughs> I was a rebel, man. <laughs> I was a rebel, Paint man. Paint that Just... picture for me. What was... Because you said after that you wanted to give back to the life. What was it like before that? Uh... B- before I was... If I could paint it one picture... Yeah. Reckless. Mm. I was outside early. You know, mm-hmm. eight, seven, cutting through the alley behind 127, barefooted. Mm-hmm. You know, I was that dude Throwing eggs on Halloween. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, that was me. Yeah. On, on, on 4th of July, I had the 10 shooter yeah. shaking and shooting it at people. That was me, like just causing <laughs> havoc, just running around moving wreck. That was me. I, yeah. I was I was a reckless young young kid, just uh-huh. no structure. Okay. Um, just moving with no purpose, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew my mom loved me and I knew my family loved me. I could go home and mm-hmm. you know, nurture me. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never experienced pain. You know, just right. a young kid who just thought, you know, I had everything by the bombs, you know right. what I'm saying? And you know, I was always wise though. I could always say that though. Like I I was, 
you know what I was saying? When you throw the rock with your right hand, you hide it with your left, like, right. you know, and, and navigate, you know what I'm saying, in straight ways. That was, that was 100% me, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? And I was, I can honestly, I can honestly say I was, I was always a hustler, mm -hmm. you know? I, I always generated cash, find some type of way to generate some cash. When, okay. When I was in, in, in eighth grade, I, I went to Food City. What was, you know, what's Food City? What's that? That was our neighborhood supermarket, man. <laughs> what you doing at Food City? Yeah, bag of bag of groceries for tips. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, man. I wanna, hey, they, you know, listen, I don't want nothing from you, man. Let me just, you know, bag up these groceries for these customers, man. And, uh -huh. you know, get a little, earn a little chicken off of it, man. And then, you know, I was working at the Oberlock of Holly, a flea market, team my shit. You know, shout out to team my shit. Yeah, man, I was always hustling. I was oh, also Miami chicken. team my shit. Yeah, Miami team my shit. They closed yeah. it, innit? Yeah, they closed it down. They closed it down. I Regulation. remember that team my shit. We used to be out. I, hey, I used to hate going to the team my shit, guys. Man, that's one thing about me, though, man. I always <laughs> found some type of situation. Like, I hated going over there, man. But, yeah. like I said, man, I just seen an opportunity, man. Like, it was this Chinese, you know, not to go off topic, man, but it was this mm -hmm. Chinese couple, couple, Iris and Sam. They, they was. Like work right in the big yellow building, man. Yeah, and they was having trouble with the chicken. I'm like, hey, well, y'all need me? Whatever y'all need me to do, give me five dollar. Give me five dollar. You know, yeah. I'm talking talk their language. Like, give me I come work, come work, come work. I'm like, man, yeah, man. Jumped up the elevator. Well, you already know. Well, Ozzy will tell you. We'll, we'll, we'll pop out. We'll pop out. You feel me? Shout out to pop out, man. I'm my boy. Yeah. Man, was up there frying chicken the whole day, man. <laughs> Got paid 45 bucks for it, man. Would it go give me two, two for 89 Reebok? <laughs> Showed up show to school the next day like I was on it, man. Yeah. But, but nah, like, before all this Octane stuff, man, the, the, the that Gino was... I was a solid guy, reckless, but right. you know, just you know, more on the young wilder free man. If if you want to, you know, you know, know who that guy was, man. Before the Octane mm -hmm. notion took place, man. But um, and then when when was Octane birthed into reality? Octane was birthed. Um, uh, I can honestly tell you, really, it fully affected in 2013. But 2013. The, okay. yeah, the name the name floated off in 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 in, in 07. You know, I, I went to jail for some shit. Mm, can you talk about it? Yeah, I went, yeah, yeah of course. Um, Wait, so how, how, old is, how old are you at? When you went to jail? I went to jail for 15. Damn, so juvenile or you went main jail? Nah, my case was so severe, I had 17 charges. It was so severe, they had to direct file me to the county. Nigga, you had 17 charges at 15? Yeah, five of them was like felonies. Oh. Ozzy, Ozzy was the last person I was with before, before, before I went off. Nah, yeah, right. I went left. Uh huh. What the? What, what happened? What happened? Um, shit, it was a club on one nineteen. Uh huh. Uh huh. It was a club on one nineteen, and um, Friday night, mm -hmm. basically, and we slid over there. Mm -hmm. You know, like I just told you, I was working at the flea market at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was in ninth grade. I'm like, man, I gotta get home because you know I had to catch two buses to get over there. Okay, they get my responsibility at that age. That's crazy. Right. Yeah. I had to catch two ability, uh, two buses at the age of 15 to you know to go work at five in the morning. Right. So I I told Ozzy, Yo, I'm out, man. I'm finna go. You know, I gotta get some Z's, man, before I get over there. Okay. Ozzy, like, now nah, I'm gonna walk with you. I'm like, okay, cool. So, like, yeah, 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 yeah. nah, 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 1235 to be Whoa. exact. Yeah, yeah, I was just crazy. I was just looking back at the affidavit before I got here, too. Nah. So, I'm walking down, I'm walking down, my whole block lit up with no money, police cars lit up. Yeah. I was like, man, you sure you're gonna be good? I'm like, man, I, if you can ask anybody from my neighborhood, we never respected no money police, man, because, <laughs> you know, through, through, through go kart chases and, and whatever the case may be, we, yeah. we, 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 we never really chimed in with them like that, man, but. You know, Ozzy, you know, we shook hands. Mm -hmm. Ozzy lived further west from right. where I stayed. So, you know, he was he was in the clear. Okay. Me, where the police was was all surrounded, they, was, they surrounded my house. Okay. So, as I approached, as the closer I got closer to my residence, the bigger the crime scene was. Mm -hmm. And on the outskirts, just on the fringes of, of, of the crime scene, mm -hmm. it was cops that, you know, I had past interactions with. Mm -hmm. So... I remember Bill was like, man, you know, get home, man. It's crazy out here. The officer. Yeah, the officer. Okay. Yeah, he like, man, it's crazy out here, man. Get in the crib, whatever, whatnot. It's a big crime scene. It's not a regular night. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm approaching my, my house. Um, now I see detectives that normally don't be outside. They outside, like suits up, you yeah, know, ties yeah, yeah. and everything. And they grab me. They're like, yo, where you coming from? I'm like, I'm coming from the club. Yeah. And he like... Like, yo, at this time, I'm like, yeah, it's a teenage club on 119. Go check it out. It's fun. You should, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was a sarcastic kid. I was a slick kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So he's like, man, man, sit right, sit right here, sit on the curb. So they sat me right on the curb. And it just so happened I was in front of my residence when they sat me on the curb. Yeah. So, man, this was like, like 1240. Yeah. Now, hours went by. Now it's like 4.30 in the morning. This will Ozzy probably, probably remember, man. It's like 4.30 in the morning. I'm still on the curve. I'm damn near went to sleep. I'm in handcuffs and everything. So I get up. I'm like, yo, if y'all going to book me for curfew, go ahead and book me for curfew, man. Unless it let me go. Like, this, this shit is silly. Yeah. So they're like, man, nah, man. Like, you right on time. They picked me up. When I picked me up, they brought out like five of the adults out the car. One of them was my brother. Okay. Um, next thing you know, we in the lineup. So cars after cars just kept coming, kept coming, they kept coming. So now they let my brother go. They let another 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 black male go, and they took the rest of us to jail. How many of y'all? It was six. I can't really remember. I can't okay. tell you, but I know five of us went to jail. Okay. I can tell you who went to jail. I don't know how much people got locked, but five of us went to jail. Okay. I was the youngest one. All my all, my, all the co-defendants, there was like 27, 28 or so. Yeah. So when I ended up getting you know booked in Miami-Dade County, and when they booked me in Miami Dade County, my um, charges was trespassing on the stolen property and grand theft out of. So I'm like, I never, I just came from the club. What, what, what car I stole? Like, yeah. like, this didn't make no sense. Yeah. You know, my, my dad worked the overnight shift at the hospital. So, you know, he, he was shocked and like, you know, they hear the news. So he came to court the next day. I'm like, damn, man, you feel me? I thought I was going home. You know, they sent me to the DJJ. I'm yeah. sitting in the juvenile jail and my father came and, I see I had a lawyer in them. A lawyer came, he's like, hey, your dad just hired me like one hour ago, literally. Mm -hmm. They're they're dropping the charges here in Miami, but you got a, a Broward hold. I said, Broward hold. Mm -hmm. I said, man, the last time I've been to Broward was when they had Grand Prix. I just showed my age right now. That's, that's, <laughs> that shit went over my head. Yeah. <laughs> it Prix. was Grand Prix, then boomers. Okay. After boomers, now they got Cooper Hawks and all yeah, that yeah, stuff right now. I know you're talking about that. Yeah. With that big ass wooden. Yeah, they had yeah, the wooden, yeah, wooden, 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 wooden yeah, coaster yeah, yeah. ride. Yeah, before all that, it was Grand Prix. Okay. So I'm like, man, that's the last time I've been there. I've never been there. So they're like, man, listen, I don't know what they got on you over there, mm -hmm. but they got 21 days to come get you. If they don't come get you in 21 days, um, you're free to go. Okay. So I'm like, okay. Man, first seven days went by, cool. First 14 days went by, cool. Man, bro, came on a 20th day to come pick me up. <laughs> they came on, yeah, they came on a 20th day. So now I get to um, the Broward jail over there up top. So and they I'm, still had you in the, in the juvenile? Yeah, I'm still okay, in the juvenile, okay. yeah. So now I get to the juvenile jail. Mm -hmm. So I, I, remember this, I remember this shit vividly. Um, they processing my fingers. Mm -hmm. They, you know, telling me to relax my fingers. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, listen, what? What's my charges over here? They're, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they're like, you ain't even gotta worry about this. You going to the big house. Nah. I said, big house? I'm like, yeah. I said, man, tell me my charges. Uh -huh. Well, you got armed kidnapping, armed robbery, armed carjacking, false imprisonment. I had six counts of those. Uh, man, I had every charge in the book besides murder and rape. Now, when they told you that, what's going through your head? I laughed. Show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me you the think person. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. show me the. You know what I'm saying? Show me the person who. You know what I'm saying? Who saw kidnapped? You know what I'm saying? Show me the person who, like, like put me on, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, like lace me. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, okay, you, you thinking it's funny? You know, you got, you got another thing coming. All right. Uh, so now, you know, they direct file me on the 20th day again. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm in the county now, fifth floor, Broward County Jail. I'm like, oh shit, like, yeah, this is real. This is different. You know what I'm saying? Just to elaborate what I told you earlier, like I was in a situation where a, a bag couldn't save me. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I don't care too less about money. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I'm, I'm people, man. People, man. But so, man. Listen. So I, I, I'll put it like this, man. Like I'll probably say I'm like I'm on my my, my eighth month in mm -hmm. in jail, just sitting, just waiting for. A Arthur hearing, a Arthur hearing is a bond hearing, basically. Mm -hmm. So as I'm just sitting there waiting, um, I was just going through. A, that's why I picking picked up the reading development, and so, mm -hmm. and you know, that's why I picked up the name Octane. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the period, the science periodic table of different elements or something. And I, I, I came across Octane. Dang. Okay. And, and, and it, it said the molecule that never burns, like despite whatever it goes through, it. it, it it goes back in the line mines and it generate oil and, and you know and back all through. I'm like, oh mm. man, like you know, I want to tell us something around that. I I didn't know right. per se how or when at that point. Okay, but I definitely like stood in solidarity with what 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 octane meant, you know, as a molecule. Right. 
So I remember going to court and my before I went to court, my lawyer came, he, he sat me down, we spoke. Mm -hmm. He was like, listen, who you was with before you went? I said, man, listen, I'm gonna give you a list of numbers, right? Mm -hmm. I'm very good with numbers. Obviously, you see yeah, what happened. <laughs> with, yeah, the gas you see yeah, when the yeah, gas is yeah. on the phone, died, I just gave you, you know, I was the number at the top of the dome. Like, I'm very good with numbers. Okay. I gave him a slew of numbers. Okay. But I said, call Ozzy first. Okay. Because Ozzy going, Ozzy don't play about me. Ozzy going to line yeah, everybody right, up. Right, like, right. You know what I'm saying? For me. So he came to come see me like two days later. He was like, man, I ain't going to lie. I normally don't say this to young cats, man, but. I'm the type to tell people to stay away from friends, like get away from friends. But he like, nah, man, your friends different. Yeah, he talking like, about Ozzy, Ozzy, and, and, oh, you know, everybody, okay, okay, and everybody else too as well. He like, man, yo, everybody said he's showing up your court date. Yeah. So I don't know now, but they, from the look of their eyes, all I'm saying they want him to show up to testify and say that it was with you. That right, night. right, right, right. You know, I, I got a little cocky. I tell him I know. <laughs> I got to tell him I know. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got to take a second to interrupt this episode. It's your boy, Woe Status Walt. Let me here to tell you about the Woe Status Social Event Planner app. If you're looking for access to the hottest venues, if you're trying to host a party yourself, or you're trying to set up some arrangements for a special somebody, you can do it easily from the palm of your hand through the Woe Status app. Don't forget to download the Woe Status app or check us out at www.woestatus.com. You can even call us to make them special arrangements at 833-2-GO-WOE. That's 833-246-9462. Now let's get back to the episode. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Court came through next day, man. Yeah. Just said, you know, Gino Blanc case docket 05. I forgot the rest, but I know it was 05 because the case happened in 05. Yeah, yeah. Whoever's in here stand up, man, the whole courtroom just, yeah. everybody just stood up. Yeah, man, yeah. that feeling, that feeling, that feeling right there. I could have won the lottery for a million dollars, man. I don't think it will ever duplicate that feeling to see the support that I had at the darkest moment of my life. Yeah. When everybody stood up, she's like, whoa. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, hold on. Like, we was in high school. Yeah. We was in high school. We skipped school. They skipped the yeah, y'all yeah, from y'all from days. So yeah, yeah, to yeah, so start up to. <laughs> That's love. They overlapped in, in Rosie Whip, right? Yeah, yeah. Or Row Whip, right? Yeah, they, they, skip school. they skip school for it. That's love. Boy, yeah, that yeah. Man, even my dad was like, "I ain't gonna lie, boy. You know, Haitians, you know, stay away from friend family." He like, "Nah, boy. These these boys, they yeah. good in my book. One of us can pull up one of the crib anytime." So then, what happened? What the judge say? Um, the judge immediately called for a sidebar. Yeah. She called for a sidebar. She called the prosecutor up. She called a, the defense attorney up, mm -hmm. which is my attorney. And, you know, on the back end, my lawyer ended up telling me, was like, she was like, yo, this don't make no sense. This kid 15, his court defendants, you know, eight year, nine year difference. Like, how he get caught up? Yeah, yeah. Then my lawyer explained to her, like, right then and there in the court. So, she's, you know, she gave me a bond, mm -hmm. you know, but under, this, under, under some conditions of being under the house arrest because the, the, the charges was too, was too much of a statue just to let me go, you know, so, you yeah. know, scotch free. So I ended up fighting the case um, just for two and a half years, mm -hmm. which, you know, I was acquitted for all charges and, you know, but that shit humbled the fuck out of me, man. Yeah. It humbled the fuck out of me, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it opened my eyes, like, just think about it, man, being 15. Yeah. You know, not even going through puberty yet. Like I hit puberty late. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I, I didn't have sex at the time. You know what I'm saying. Like, really? you know, going into a situation where you locked in a cell for 23 hours a day and you only come out for one hour. Yeah. And that one hour, you come out. You just coming out to a bigger box. It's not like you coming out. And you in the street or whatever. One night, you just dancing around. You know what I'm saying. You could just just being confined for not not knowing just from coming. You know. In that in that moment when you when you're in that situation, is it is it a the feeling that you have is it a feeling of oh, I ain't know what do I know I ain't do I'm straight like mm -hmm. but then again it's still the same feeling of like how the hell am I in here like how am I like yeah I did of course like I never questioned God in my life mm. at, that, at that point my my brother passed away and earlier that year my mom was still alive and I was like damn like what the fuck like okay like whoa you know what I'm saying like damn I felt crazy I felt like whoa boy, what's going on in the, yeah. I just like, you know what, my, I was talking to my brother, you know, he was like, man, just read, bro, just just read, like, it's happening for a reason. I'm like, what's the fucking reason? Yeah, like, yeah. you tell me what's the reason? I'm in the room 23 hours a day, you tell me what's the reason? 
You know, yeah, I, I, I was spazzing, man. Then I, I piped down. I mm. piped down. I started. I started. You know, like you know. Let me let me adapt. You know what I'm saying? I started talking through the AC vents. Mm -hmm. You know, learning about other people. You know, hoods and cultures and stuff. Learning about or OP Oakland Park. You know, I'm yeah. in Broward. I'm <laughs> learning about the dad where you yeah, from. You know what I'm saying? Bar, yeah. You know, popping. I'm learning about you know different. You know, I'm like, okay, bro, cool. Around that time, I'm, I'm here dying for around, uh, a, di a dialogue around that time. They was bopping around hey, that time. Yeah, they yeah. was doing a little bop or whatever. I came out bopping. I'm not even a dancer. <laughs> I came out of jail bopping. I was just like, yo, this, we lost G. G out here bopping. <laughs> But nah, man, um, man, it's one of the coasts that ever stuck with me, man, real strong, man. They say uh, a smooth, uh, uh, a, a strong sea mm -hmm. never made a smooth sailor, you know what I'm saying? So mm. I, I had a rough sea. So now when, when bullshit come my way now, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just be grateful, you know what I'm saying? You got a bed, you got a roof. You could drink water. You could wake up and drink water. You know, <laughs> so some people don't got that water. You know what I'm saying? Some people ain't got that water. You could drink water on your own discretion. Think about that for a second. Right. Alkaline too at that. <laughs> you just wake up and go get some sure. water, man. You just got to be grateful for it, man. But, right. So bringing it back to the octane. So you yeah. went through that situation. Mm -hmm. You went through even more traumatizing situation with your mom and your brother. Yeah. Octane, when did it get pushed into motion? What was the first uh, event or business venture with Octane? Man, I was in the hood. And um, this was 2013, and mm -hmm. man, we, we used to cook up, play ball heavy, Ben Franklin Park. What, basketball, football? Basketball. Okay. So we playing ball, man, it got real competitive out there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, dudes started inviting their girlfriends and stuff <laughs> like that. You know, when the female niggas want to show out, yeah. shit gets there. Yeah, yeah, you already know. <laughs> I was a, you know, I was a dip, dip set fan too, as well, too. So, uh huh. You know, I, I was a fan of like how they used to do the whole Ruckus Park situation with Fat Joe and all that stuff. You know, just yeah. the New York Harlem atmosphere. Like I used to do the little thing at Ruckus Park. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn man. Like I told Fox, I said, "Well, Fox man, we should bring the little, little basketball tournament into the hood, man. See what's going on. Yeah, Make yeah. little shirts, or whatever, whatnot. Case maybe, man, we could cook up right quick, man. You know what I'm saying?" Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, like one well, we'll thing about them, like, whatever I said, they were like, all right, gee, if you believe in it, boy, we behind you on hundred. Man, we ran it. Went to the same free market team. I shared May shirts. Mm -hmm. There's a team Octane, Team Piff, you know, Team Xfinity. We made little shirts, whatever, whatnot, man. Yeah, we bought a, a barbecue grill out there. We got a DJ, mm -hmm. and man, the whole block, everybody just came out there, man. The whole. The whole park was on smash. Yeah. Everybody is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, so if, let me give you a little bit of the, uh, uh, of our demographic here. Mm -hmm. Ben Franklin Park resides on 13th Ave. Pepper Park is on 13th Ave too as well. Yeah. They was just building a, a new gymnasium um, at that time. Mm -hmm. So as we was leaving, you could see the the gymnasium almost from the skyline. Okay. So I'm like, I said, I ain't gonna lie, boy. This son was beating, kicking our ass today, boy. Yeah, I think we, we, need we, to be we need to be in the gym. <laughs> yeah, it's more better, yeah. more of a, a stadium kind of feel. You so know, like you going yeah, to yeah. a heat game. Right. Like, let's do it, man. I went to North Miami the next day, man. So that first event was it? Was it? Was you trying to make some bread off it? Was no, it just out of no. Love? Everything I ever did was out of love. Okay. We, we did that out of love. The most we ever did was just. You know, hey, yo, boy, shoot a little dub, shoot this, that. Right, we try right. to go get some meat. Yeah. Right. We, you know what I'm saying? We okay. try, you know, that's, that's the most we ever did, but everything we ever did out of love. Okay. And then we ended up, tra you know, transitioning into the gym mm -hmm. where we were charging like five, ten dollars. Right. But that was just for Peter Pay Paul, you know, so you get it to know, okay, we, we got to get school supplies for the kids and stuff like that because we was doing back to school drives, you know, in between. Right. We was doing. All under the octane, yeah, all under the umbrella, all, all, yeah, all under the octane umbrella. Okay, you know, and man, that went on. We, then we that transition to okay, we need to generate some cash. Yeah, yeah. For, for that, so we 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 threw the gala, the gala, explain yeah. the gala. The gala is basically like a pep rally. Okay, but more so tailored to. Is 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 you dress up, you, mm -hmm. you cut up, you look good, you smell good, you put on your best suit. Because, uh, you know. We had gangsters who never wore suits before. <laughs> went to go, went, they, 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 they went to raw suits, man. They went yeah. to men's warehouse. They went to go buy suits tailored for this event, man. And, yeah. and that money that we used, we generated from the gala, man. We just put it back into the community, mm -hmm. you know. And we 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 
you know, we continue on with the basketball tournament, mm-hmm. and then we generated the winter games. Mm. The winter games was a do- basically like a dodgeball tournament, and, and just like two days after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's that weekend, mm-hmm. and dodgeball, rock climbing, just a, a festival. You know, funnel cakes, mm-hmm. the whole the whole nine yards you could possibly think of. Basically, a field day like when you was in elementary right, or, right. or so. And, you know, we was giving out school supplies then, too, because, you know, much like any trap, you got to re-up. You know, people usually get school supplies school supplies in the beginning. But, you know, at this point, we had to, like, you know, you know, read them up and stuff like that. Just more community, you know, yeah. just point our heart out into the community, you know what I'm saying? Trying to find ways, you know, just to bring everybody together. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, but at that point, I started working at um, the one one yard. Mm-hmm. Just for, upon the with the Winwood Yard point, I'm, I'm gonna transition to the bar. The, to, yeah. I got into the mixology now, so I started working at the Winwood Yard. In the midst of me working in the Winwood Yard, um, shout out to Kevin. Um, Kevin, he's the general manager at, at, at Victory, okay. at Victory Lounge, or whatever. At, now, but before, you know, we was down at the yard, mm-hmm. and you know, every week he'll have the drink of the week for the yard right. or, or so. And you know, me and him were politic, like, man, you know what, taste this, taste that, taste that. He'll put me on crazy game. He'll put me on crazy game on alcohol. I'm like, man, <laughs> like, damn, boy, like, boy, it's always some some serious. And I just see how people gather around and, and, and getting about it. Right. And then, you know, I featured my first drinks at the winter games. Okay. I featured my first drinks at the winter and everybody reciprocated, reciprocated crazy. Uh-huh. You know, and then my cousin gave me the opportunity to do her baby shower because mm-hmm. you know she liked the drinks. Wait, Paul. So what's the? How did you? What? What made you think like, yo, I could do this? Like, what? Um, you seen Kevin doing it? You was like, yo, we. I'm glad you paused me too because I you know sometimes I be jumping too fast. Nah, it's straight, it's straight. I just want to. But um, yeah, um, the yard ended up shutting down. Oh, okay, okay. Um, that was another reason why like ownership is important because you know they gambled on the lot, they leased a lot, they ain't bought a lot, they leased it, right? And, uh, when it was time to renew, you know, people, I ain't going to say people, but it was just, this, this, this is a story I heard. This, this philanthropist out of New York, he, biggest man, biggest man, yeah. he caught the whole thing and built the whole penthouse situation on the, on the lot, man, but yeah. neither there or there, but the last day of, of the yard, mm-hmm. you know, I, you know, Took some bar equipment, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're like, man, you know, the yard over with, man. Take everything back to the warehouse, G. And I'm like, whatever. They're like, man, we don't need this, we don't need that. I'm like, y'all need this? Like, yeah. these bar spoons, like, <laughs> took everything. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, you, you know me, boy. Like Denzel said, boy, I'm from I'm the way, boy. I'm even, <laughs> I'm even with I'm with You know what I'm saying? saying? So I, I took what I took, that man. I'm with everything. Yeah, boy. <laughs> So, you know, I, I, I normally, you know what I'm saying, you guys always see my, my house on Sundays. We used to be crazy with football. Like, we love football. Yeah. So, you know, anybody used to come through on Sundays, man, and we, I used to just mix drinks. And like, yo, this drink is fire, this, that. Mm-hmm. My cousin like, oh, I need a bartender for my, my baby shower. I'm like, I'll do it. Yeah. And I went bunkers. Showed up, went bunkers, She man. was paying you or it was just... No, nah, I did it on the house. Okay. You know, that's family. You know, when I ran it, Mm-hmm. I just seen anybody like, yo, I never had a drink like this before. Because, okay. you know, when you're really drinking, it's really ounces and measurements that really goes into things that really dilute the whole drink out. The, you know, you re- reciprocate that really that feel. Mm-hmm. Like I always say, it's more than tequila and pineapple. It's more than Hennessy and Coke. You know, you you, you really put some things together. Mm-hmm. So, and we did that. And from there, I, I had like five inquiries. Like, yo, we have a business card? I'm like, nah, I ain't got no business card. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <what> <laughs> What's the name at that point? It's just Octane? Yeah, it was always Octane. Okay. So I'm like, damn, when I went home and laid down that night, mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna lie, boy. I think you're, <laughs> I think you're boy, got something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think, I'm like, it's just a, me. I take heed of what's going on. Like, right. Kevin, he just showed me this game for, for nothing. nothing. For sure, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Okay, God, I see what you did there. Mm-hmm. Okay, say less. Man, later on that week, man, my cousin, her best friend, she was having a wedding shower. She like, you know, I love what you did, Ara. Ara, baby shower. Can you um do my wedding shower? How much you gonna charge me? I said, I'm gonna call you right back, boy. I said, I'm gonna call you right back, man. Bro, I want to go, you know. You looking up prices? I'm looking up prices. I'm, looking, prices. I'm looking up numbers and stuff like yeah. that. I'm like, this is my first time, so I can't even hit you across the headlock. Now. You don't want to go too hard. I don't want to go low. too hard, go too low. Yeah. All right, just pay for the lick and give me two B's on top. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're too bees on to us. Well, what's your, but what's 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 the average price? What's the price? I don't even I don't even. Oh no, nah, price is definitely up now. Nah. Okay, okay, You're okay. going on Target now. Where you want to look up? Go on the website www.octane.com. You, sure. you gonna see what it is now? Okay, okay. You know that was four years ago. Your boy definitely. <laughs> your boy definitely. Left. You gonna get that nigga up this code? You ain't gonna get me. <laughs> but, um, so that what she say? Yeah, she's like, oh no problem, right here. Like we'll give you more than that, whatever. But we really love the drinks. Okay. So she was at the first, uh, your first. Yeah, she was okay, at my okay, first okay. Class. So now, now game on, game target. I want to go get clothes now. Yeah, I want to go stamp. I want to go study now. Order all kind of books. And I'm knee deep in this thing now. Yeah, is it just you? Or you got people it's, working with you. It's, at this it's point? just me. Okay, it's just me. I ain't want to bring nobody into it because I'm not a fan of looking crazy. I'm like, mm. I'm not gonna bring Ozzy and so I'm not gonna bring Fox. I'm not gonna bring Until you know for sure is what it's supposed. Yeah, okay. damn, G boy, you got me looking crazy. I'm yeah. like, nah, boy. I, I, I'm a man with pride, boy. I got, like, I got some egotistical ways where you gonna knock me on my pivot like right. that. So how the first paid event went? Man, crazy, crazy. It defined crazy. I got videos in my phone <laughs> to this day that I just go back and. What year was that? In? How long ago was that? This was um 2019. Oh, okay, okay. It was 2019. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, 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 yeah. Early 20 January. Okay. January 20th, 2019. I, I, I remember the day and everything. Uh -huh. Man. When I say went crazy, this is what I mean. Um, I created four drinks, right? Gasoline drinks. Right. You know, the name of the brand is Octane. Right. So I named one drink Shells. I spelled the difference so the copyright they won't get me. Right. With a Z, I put Shells. Okay. BP, I put, you know, I, I put it in um, um, uh, um, parentheses and, you know, I put the periods, you know, after each one, you know, so BP won't come after me. Right, right, right. Marathon. Marathon of Global World, so I just ran marathon and 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 and, and West Star. Okay, all these drinks mm -hmm. represent like the gas agencies in my neighborhood because you know North Miami on the west side and it consists of one nineteenth and one thirty fifth, seven after seventeenth. Mm -hmm. So if you go on one nineteenth and seven, you got marathon. Mm -hmm. So if you go on one nineteenth, seventeenth, you got West Star. Yeah. So if you go on one thirty fifth, just towards dark side, you got BP right there. Okay. And then if you come off one twenty fifth and seven, what we got? I said you got shells. Okay. So I tended those four drinks, and mm -hmm. all of them was hot power drinks, but yet it's hidden behind some sweet, some like marathon. Get straight to it. If you drink marathon, it's going it's going to take you there. Now, so you still have these drinks in your of course arsenal today. Damn. Yeah, the, the, these things got me okay. where I'm at today, so I gotta pay homage to them boys. So there, you you at the event? What's happening? I'm at the event. Right. I'm pitching these drinks, man. I'm pitching these drinks, mm -hmm. man. I felt like Ace on paid in full. <laughs> you know when he first touched his hand on the rock. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm getting them off. Yeah, man. I got grandmas turning up with you know. You know, I remember Jess came with. She's like, yo, listen, look at the party, like. I ain't never imagined my dad to be vibing like this. Just, right, right, right. Just put it like this. People wouldn't have, some people wouldn't have sex in five years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They cooked it's up so, that night. So. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they definitely cooked up that night, man. So, I was like, yeah, I walked out of my car. Yeah, I, I, went, I went home with some crazy tips, man. I, I went home with at least about, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna disclose no numbers, man. But okay, I went home okay. with some tips, man. Right. And I was like, yeah, bro. I sat in my car. I was like, yeah, well, this the lane for me. And, <laughs> yeah. And me, I'm always as simplistic it may found, you know, it may be found, I'm always about being unique. Mm -hmm. More so about it's it never been or you never heard of a street dude doing mixology. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's uncommon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you, you you know, you go to the club, you know what you find. The girls with the fish nets. Right, 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 right. Fish you out some drinks, man, you know what I'm saying? And what really got me towards this angle, man, just, just the authenticity of the brand before me getting into mixology. Just, you know, being a force front of just being solid. Just, mm -hmm. you know, standing firm on the surface. Just, 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 just going ham, just going 100% hard for what I believe in, man. Mm -hmm. And, man, from there... Man, we just been getting bookings and bookings and bookings. And at this point, every place I would go to, yeah. they would have bars. Okay. Until I got booked up, you know, for my man's um, 31st, 31st birthday, Zeke. Uh -huh. And I showed up to the event. I'm like, yo, where the bar? 
Like, oh, we ain't got no bar. It's a backyard event. I'm like, damn. <laughs> okay. I'm used to, used to working from, you know, going, you know, these halls have bars and right, stuff right, like right. that. So I'm like, damn, boy, I, I, boy, I ain't got no bar. I got, a, I got a trunk full of alcohol, yeah, yeah. mixers and everything like that, but I ain't got no bar. You know, good thing it was my man's. My man's was like, man, G, you good, man. You know, we figure it out. Yeah. We're going to, we, man, we, man, he went in the back. We grabbed a whole bunch of boxes. Yeah, yeah. Grabbed a whole bunch of science boards. First, I was down on it. I'm like, excuse me. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, man, yo, boy, what y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. Man, they started duct taping that thing. <laughs> they they duct taped it. Yeah. Man, yeah. They put a tablecloth over it, man. Whoa, whoa, okay, say less, boy. We just what we doing. Yeah. Man, cooked up. I cooked up like five bees and tips. I'm gonna tell you them numbers. I cooked up like five bees and tips. When I got them, them tips, man, man, I ordered me a mobile bar mm. from the mobile bar. And what year is this in? We in twenty. We in twenty. This this same same year, but later on that year. Dang, so all this happened in one year. Yeah, man. all this in one sequence. Yeah. Dang, okay. So before that, before you got the mobile bar, how many events did you have? Prior before that, I'll probably say about a good six. Or seven, and it yeah. was straight off a of word of mouth, or was it was you was you kind of promoting it at that point? Um, kind of word of mouth slash promoting. I was like, you know, putting in my stories, like, hey, you know, Octane, you know, book book me up, or I'll cook up your party. Okay, and okay. people would see the energy that we was creating through the stories and stuff like that. And then, okay, I had other people. I was telling people, man, hey, listen, if you gonna tip, like, I'd rather you post me up as opposed to giving me cash because you know my next customer could be on your timeline. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was like, oh man, that's the most nicest stuff I've ever heard. I'm gonna tip you and put you up. Yeah. I'm like, okay, run it. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. you know, and, uh, and, they, and they ran it. Mm -hmm. And then you know, from there, um, you know, I ran into that little loophole situation where I got the bar. Okay. You know, at the at, you know at the party, mm -hmm. or whatever, whatnot. And man, the bar started. You know. It started jumping, you know. I'm now I'm more flexible now. I'm doing more more situations now. Uh -huh. Getting booked up like crazy. Yeah, getting booked up like crazy. I'm like, oh man, I, you know that's some Ozzy stuff. Then I said, Ozzy, boy, you want some of this money? <laughs> this some good money, <laughs> boy. We, boy, listen, boy, this the game, boy. You know what I'm saying? You know, Ozzy, a people's person like me. It took me ten years for you to for me to admit that, boy. I don't tell you, nah, I ain't no people's. Well, nah, I ain't. I'm a people's person. You feel me? Like, What's good I, money at that point, though? Good money. Um, you can put it in a, in a year. In a year? Yeah. Oh, you want to, you want me to close numbers, man? Listen, <laughs> just know I pay taxes, man. <laughs> just know I pay taxes, dog. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then. I pay taxes, dog. So, so, you know what I'm saying? It's good money. Okay, it's good I, money. It's good money. We we'll talk on camera. Yeah, we we'll talk about honey, honey, honey. So from there, um, yeah, like COVID happened. COVID, okay. That, yeah, COVID you running the mobile bar is booming yeah. than COVID. COVID happened. And I'm no lie. I ain't gonna lie. I was doing low-key parties under the underground parties that you was hearing about where COVID party. Mm -hmm. and me and Ozzy. Ozzy was risking it. I said, yeah. Ozzy, Ozzy got, you know, a kid at home. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, Ozzy, boy, it's COVID out here, boy, but we got to get to it, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. These low-key stripper parties, low-key, man, it's, it's chicken, boy. We got to go get it, boy. We, we, man. So is it just y'all too or y'all got other people with y'all as well? We got other people too as well, but. Okay. Ozzy, 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 more like the the, the front runner. My other, my other two, you know, partners, they they, they got a whole wide range of stuff going on. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So I don't like bothering them. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? But I, I'm gonna bother the hell out of Ozzy. You know what I'm saying? Ozzy, know that I lean on him a lot. So then, what's the COVID transition like? So the COVID transition was, man, we man, we committed some cash. Nah, okay. we committed some cash. You know what I'm saying? Plus, on top of the you know cash we already got or whatever, whatnot. And Pandemic boys. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Off the off the mud, yeah, 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 off the mud, man. We really, man, we really dug it in off the mud, man. And mm -hmm. from there, uh, I, 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 I called everybody up. Mm -hmm. I called everybody up, and I was like, "Hey, listen, I got this idea. I got mm -hmm. this vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, a huge lucrative step that that'll take us beyond out the hood, let alone our peoples. Mm -hmm. And we got a chance to to illustrate this thing because my neighborhood." Don't go off words. We go off demonstration. Say that. that say so, that again, guy. We don't go off words. You know what I'm saying? We go off demonstration. That's, and, yeah, keep going. You know what I'm saying? In other words, dog. Action speaks louder than words. For you know sure. what I'm saying? For like, so sure. nobody want to hear about what you got. Nobody, nobody want to hear about what you got. See anything. that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, keep going. My you fault, know what I'm saying? You good? You good? Where you from? I be saying this, brother. <laughs> you good, bro? You good? I be telling niggas this all that this like cut. Stop telling me what you got going on, nigga. Show me what you do. Don't explain shit to me, cuz. Just show me. Niggas don't want to hear none of And then you can't even hate when you like, 
Oh, he don't want to hear what, bro, that's just people, dog. That's just. Yeah, that's like, 100%. Even like, say you got a girl, it's like, mm-hmm. she telling you this, that, and it, stop telling me, show me. Show me. Bro, that's real. That's real. Keep going, come off, bro. No, you good, bro, you good. <laughs> so, yeah, from there, I was like, man, listen, this is what we're going to do, because, you know, where I'm from, um, I like to say that it was really no blueprint mm. of how to, like, really do your own thing and, and, and be successful on it. Mm. You know, right hell, right now, ain't, ain't you know, ain't no blueprint for me. Mm-hmm. I, I just got a, a strong vision, a tough vision. That's that's not even a vision anymore because we actually in the frame. Right. <laughs> so I, I told him, like, hey, little, listen, just trust me on this one, but we're going, like, all right, go, let's let's go. Like, what you got? Like, the Octane Factory. Mm-hmm. Like, what's that? Like, yo, it's, it's been on my wall in my room. Yeah. In my little apartment, boy, for a minute. Hey, so you, you, know what I'm you real visionary. You had it on the wall and everything. Yeah, I've been drew it up. Okay. I've been drew it up. Since oh. like when I was working in Winwood, I'm like, yeah, this 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 this, this the goal. This is the vision right here. Mm-hmm. But I used to just I used to just wake up and just look at it and just add different layers to but it. But then how long aspects. how long um between the idea and the execution was it? The longer the idea and execution, I'll probably say oh, we left Winwood in twenty I mean, I wrote it down in 2015. Mm-hmm. I executed on it in 20, physically, yeah, I'll probably, last year, 2021. So between the idea, yeah, I'd probably say six years. So why, 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 looking back, though, why you feel like, do you think that, that why you had that, such that long wait period? Was it, was it uh, hesitation? Was it? No. Nah. Like, was Man, it, minute, what was it? What was it? The minute I think so, not go. I, I I have no no fear. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't fear no nobody but God. Now, what was it? What was the six years? What was it? Like why was it six years? Why was it not next day? Like boom, yeah, boom. I, I was so caught up in, in just just doing community events at that time. Okay. So it was never no gross period for me to like stop and just chill. Okay. And just really like look at this thing. Okay. And COVID happened. Everybody stopped. Lockdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quarantine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Gino. This is what we gotta look at every day. So, for so, okay, okay. Now I'm locked in. Like I'm like, all right, maybe this time. All right. But now I'm not ready for the sacrifice because there ain't gonna be no basketball tournaments. Ain't gonna be this. Ain't gonna be that. Ain't, ain't gonna, gonna be no, okay. no community situation. Like this thing is. That's a big ass goal I wrote down. All you right. know, what I'm that was a huge goal, and it, it's gonna require some time. Yeah. So I'm like. I, man, I was like, all right, let's go. Like, I really had that convo with myself. Like, all right, let's go. It's time. Like, yeah. the world stopped, you know, quarantine, map this thing out correctly. Yeah. Which I did. And here we are. <laughs> For sure. Here we are. Yeah. And I want to say this, though. Like, that day, that June day, that June that June 29th day mm-hmm. that we signed off on a lot and, you know, was, you know, down there at the meeting, you know, uh, it felt, me, I, I always wanted to be in the league. I wanted to go for something, yeah. NFL, NBA or something like that. Yeah. It's crazy how life works, dog, because every time I'm about to do a bartending event, yeah. so, like, I get that feeling like I'm coming out of the tunnel. Yeah. Like I'm about to go. You suited, you, yeah. Just like the pain and fool when, when, when Mitch was like, I feel like bird or magic man yeah. in the game or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, I, I, I get that feeling. Mm-hmm. And that day at meeting, Don, I look to my left, I look to my right, I'm like, yo, like, this is too surreal. Yeah. I'm getting to do what I love with the people I love yeah. in the manner that we love. And we literally saying, fuck the middleman. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, claiming 100% ownership about how we going about it and how we grow, growing about it, mm-hmm. you know. And to bring it up, I ain't going to say bring it up to speed, but to, to really put the clamp on this open bar Sunday situation this Sunday. Yeah. The hundred dollar brunch was designed was one hundred percent designed to fund the Octane Factory. Yeah. People looked at me crazy, man. Yeah. Like, yo, hundred dollars for a brunch? Like, <laughs> what do you think you are? Like, yeah, yeah. man, I received flat, man. Some from my old people, man. I had OGs like call me from there, but like, yo, like, yo, hundred dollars. Like, so you don't think you should explain hundred? So it's a hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and you in the event, 
Yeah, uh, 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 all you can drink, all you. Okay, I'm gonna give you a whole backstory on that. Like, like I told you, I'm a big Nipsey Hussle fan. Okay, and you know, when I was watching an interview with Nip, Nip was talking about how he did the hundred dollar Crenshaw, the mixtape, the mixtape, yeah. yeah. And Jay Z bought, um, a, you know, a hundred copies for you know, I think, yeah, for ten bands or so like that. And he got it from an author called uh, Jonah Berger, mm-hmm. called, a book called Contagious. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I opened up and read the book, and it was talking about, you know, I think it's the first or second chapter. Where Say the book again, I'm sorry. Contagious. Contagious by who? Dope book. Jonah Berger. Okay. Dope book. Um, basically, it's, it's this dude up in Philly. He opened up a food chain. Mm-hmm. Um, and he charged $100 for a Philly cheesesteak. Mm-hmm. And when he charged $100 for the Philly cheesesteak, it, it received crazy flack. Yeah. Some people were like, damn, why why he charge hundred dollars for the cheesesteak? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Some people were like, Whoa, he's do crazy. Like, <laughs> I ain't paying I ain't that. Pay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it drew crazy attention to it. You know, right. the whole point was for people to spark conversation about it. Right. And man, dog, he had a line wrapped around the building. <laughs> yeah, for a hundred dollar cheesesteak. Right. You know, Nip Nip took that same concept and you know, he did it, he applied it to the Crenshaw. Mm-hmm. And same thing with him. Some people like you know was proud to pay. He had a proud to pay campaign. Some people, you know, a lot of people was you know proud to pay the hundred dollars. You know what right. I'm saying? And some people was down on it. Right. You know, on an interview with Sway, he, he was saying that on uh, a radio station in LA that was owned by Stevie Stevie Wonder, his own people, he was, mm-hmm. was, was shaming him. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Jay Z bought a hundred copies of it for ten stacks. Yeah. And next you know they started you know. You know, try to, you know, fickle their way back in, you right. know, and stuff like that. You know, even on the song, um, um, Count Up That Loop, he like, shout out to Winnie Williams for helping the surface. You know, Winnie Williams, you know, she known for a blog. She was talking shit. She talking, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you talking shit, like, oh, he charges on her. What you gonna do? You gonna go on your phone, you go look at it, not next, you know, you know what I'm saying, you popping. Free promo. Exactly. Yeah. So, I wanted people to spark the conversation about the $100 brunch, even though I got flat for it. You know, it's crazy. I'm gonna tell you that shit working. <laughs> when I looked at the man page, I was looking. I'm like Octane Factory, hundred dollar entry. I'm like, damn, that's shit. Open bar, though. damn, that makes sense. So I'm like, I was thinking, I'm like, it was crazy, right? Yeah, like, but me though, I'm I'm a person like I believe in that. Like, your price is your price. If you have something right, valuable, right, your your client base, whoever your customer base, like, let's say someone's like. I ain't paying a hundred dollars to get it. Okay, yeah. I wasn't advertising to you. You wasn't supposed to come in and buy it. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, and any when you post it, when I see it, it's like a hundred dollar entry. It's like I'm a person like I, I would pay that hundred. It's like, all right, y'all, we got an event. Yeah. Open tra- but yeah, that's crazy. That shit captured. That shit made me talk. <laughs> that shit making niggas talk. Yeah, trust me, dog. I, I, I knew because I got I got personal people that I knew call me like. You know, cursed me out of bottom. I was like, I hung up. I was like, right, right. I was like, man, yo, nip crazy. Like, you, nip, nip. like it's crazy how he passed and he's still just like his spirit so strong, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? How, how it just resonates well, man. Everything, man. And but more so though, if you're really thinking about it though, outside of the hundred dollar topic, man. Yeah, it's really worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> like, it's you true. tell me where you could go to an establishment where parking is free mm-hmm. and. You getting top shelf drinks, unlimited. Right. Like I ain't talking about like <laughs> unlimited top shelf. Unlimited top shelf. Like I'm talking class of zoo 1942. Uh-huh. A 1942 shot is 50 bucks. Right. At a Twin Peaks. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you go to one of these, you know, you gonna pay more than that. For sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You catching that wave plus more. Right. I I get it though. Everybody not drinkers. Everybody, you know, some people, you know. But so they add from a bit is food included in that? It's food food included too. In yeah. the hundred? In the hundred. What the in the hundred. But I'm gonna be honest with you, you you eat one time, you get a one time food. <laughs> no, it's not a limit. The yeah, food yeah, not a limit. Yeah, yeah. You get a one time. Okay. It's a hefty menu though. It's a gourmet menu. Though, nigga, what yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Hundred percent. And um man, if you know Octane, you know we do things differently, man. So if you come, yeah, man, you pulling up right? Shit. I'm there. All right, say yeah. left. When, when you see this Sunday, you gonna you gonna see how this thing cook up, man. It, yeah, it, it's really different. And and if y'all watching this, I know that bit probably at five hundred right now. They watching this bit like from three years from now, cause that price going up. Huh? But no, nah, no, nah, come on. But, God. but that's the that, nah, but that's the whole thing though. Like I did a partnership with the hog. Okay. Cause the whole goal is to get that revenue to you know. Obviously, we got land. We building our own situation. Right. 
if you've been down on octane since 2013 or since when whatever when you learned about our campaign okay it's like okay i, sh- I you know i'm gonna stand in solidarity what they got going on mm-hmm. they good for that honey i had some people too who donated like hey listen i don't drink you know i'm pregnant he go 200. Yeah. I love what you got going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was not all negative. You know what I'm saying? We have some positives too as well. Yeah. Um, I just find it like, okay, I ain't trying to bash nobody, but to piggyback what I said, we not leasing. Yeah. You feel me? We not leasing. We, we owning something. Right. I'm not these establishments. Right. <laughs> we sure. on the, if you want to put this in rap terms, we on the independent label. For sure. We putting up our own, own chicken. Bread. We putting up our own money. We putting up our own thing. We did a partnership with Oha. Yeah. You know, to generate our own thing. So when we do open up our own thing, you good. Right. Trust me, you'll be good. Right now, we want to give out an even swap. We give you this unlimited. We give you that unlimited. You will catch a vibe. Just give us the, just give us the hundred. Yeah. Trust me, you're gonna catch a nice wave for it. Right. There's no bush, there's no peon. Right. Trust me, I'm not gonna, you know, shame nobody what they got going on. Trust me, it's yeah. a lot of good brunches going on. For so, sure. so if you choose, you know, rock with us, that's a hundred. But if you sit down and think about it, parking costs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Entry costs. Yeah. And then you gotta sit Food down and cost, drink costs. They tax them for the drinks already. <laughs> got to wait, take it back though. Walk me through how. What was the process to get the lot though? Cause y'all, like you said, this is your own shit. Yeah. I want to commend you for that. This man got an own lot. Ownership is key. Ownership is everything. You, bro. Ownership isn't taught, especially in our community. That's major. Cause you got to walk me through that process. What is what, first off? God is awesome. For sure. Gotta thank the man above for that one. Mm-hmm. Second, the team awesome. Gotta thank sure. them boys for that one, bro. I don't know if Pro watch it, but shout out to Pro when he do see it, he won't know. Yeah. Dirt Money, Dirt already, like, his name is Dirt because he built things from dirt on up. Like, yeah. it, it's not because he dirt, like, nah, he really built from dirt on up. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a bit of a, I'm a, I'm, I, I don't, I'm a big risk taker. I take mm. risks. I can't be 70, 80 years old in a nursing home. And have regret in my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I should have did this or I should have did that. That never been me. Uh-uh. Well, uh, well we going to go. This is what direction we going. We going to go. We going to go in this direction. You know what I'm saying? So how much you had to bet on yourself? I'm a numbers nigga. I'm oh, sorry, girl. I'll tell you. I gambled my, I, gamb- I, I, I gambled everything I had on it. Damn. Everything. Everything. And what's that? What? Soul shit. Pawn shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, change my whip. Right. You seen the low key outside? Yeah. Damn, they almost caught the bucket. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I believed in it but that much. I believe in the dream. Damn. Mm-hmm. It takes sacrifice, dog. I, 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 I don't. I don't care for no designer. I don't care for like materialistic. I don't care for mm-hmm. fictitious things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What I care about is just my people. Right. You know, us winning. Us putting ourselves in positions where. We could take care of, I don't even have kids, man. I'm thinking about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> just rude. putting the kids, kids in a better position, man, to grow up way far better than, 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 than we, we, we ever came up in. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I ain't graduate. Yeah. I don't have a high school diploma. Damn. I don't have a GED. Right. I don't, you know, I'm not the most educated. I know what I know. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know. I definitely know what I know. I know. I know some shit. Right. But I ain't the most educated. You know what I'm saying? And my heart got me here. Sure. My heart got me here. You know what I'm saying? My heart did. My heart. My hustle got me here. And it's gonna take me. It's gonna take me over the top. I'm betting on that to take me over the top, though, for sure. Uh, yeah. Man. What's the business model of? Like, break me into the behind the, the entrepreneur brain of. How is you making like? So let's say it's a hundred dollars a ticket. Mm-hmm. How, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, how do you, how does it always balance out to where you have gross revenue? Right. On it. Let's say if, let's say if this group come in, them motherfuckers drink everything. Like, does that, like, how does that balance? Like, I, I don't care saying? who you are. Uh-huh. And I'm going to get this game too. Cause you know me, Ozzy, I like giving, I like giving. Game. How is it that you're making a profit? You get the drinks. I'm going to tell you. Right. Let me, like, how is it? And yeah, I, I got, I got, I got my people. I don't know who I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. You know, like I told you, I'm going to leave here with something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, it's simple. It's simple. Like it's not really as hard as you think. Break that down for us. Break that down. This bottle right here. Right. 
This is the 750 bottle right here. No, this is a liter right here. Okay. Even better. It's a liter. Out of the liter, you could get 31 shots out of this thing. 31 shots out of a liter. Yeah. Okay. A term, uh, what is it? Termina? This is the rock bottle right here. Mm -hmm. Out of This bottle costs about what? $30? Right. I get 31 shots. Can you drink 31 shots? Fuck no. <laughs> okay. So, if you can't drink 31 shots. Right. This costs what? $34, let's say, uh, off the top retail price or whatever the case may be. Okay. You probably get about four shots off of it. Right. Right? Four plus food, we run you off to about 50, 60 bucks. Okay. That 40 goes to us, Octane. Right. We just want the 40. Right. Okay. okay? You can keep the 50, 60. Okay. We're giving you food. We're giving you the four shots to five. Whatever you could drink. Right. By now, you could drink the whole bottle. So you betting that they, because it's not even a, it's a safe bet because like it's alcohol. They juice. You feel me? Plus. So what's the average? You said so the average amount of shots people could drink is four. Yeah, three to four. Okay, okay, okay. Three to four. I, I know some voters will go drink half. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know some voters who could drink half. I, I ain't getting that twisted, man. But uh -huh. them people from my neighborhood, I just tell them, please, boy, y'all, when y'all come, <laughs> y'all don't muck me. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it to me. You know what I'm saying? Mud in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all boys don't muck me. You know what I'm saying? Spray, spray your boy. You know what I'm saying? But. Okay, that's an interesting model. Okay. Long story short, though, when you mixing though, you know, putting triple sec and everything like that, you, you know, asking for margaritas or mm -hmm. a, a lychee martini or smoke low fashion mm -hmm. or strawberry Hennessy, you mm -hmm. mixing right. So that way, it's not really a a whole shot. You got half a shot of Grandma Yay, you got right. half a shot of Hennessy, right. you got half a shot of lime juice, you got half a shot of strawberry puree, right. which forms a drink. Okay. So you're not really using up the whole quantity of okay. of, of what you're doing. It's definitely a, 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 a profitable situation. So that's what's up. That's what's up. I mean, they they gonna tell you that at, at, at these places, man, because you know, of course, you know, it's a business. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's, it's a business. Everybody looking for to make their chicken. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's why they in it. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? That's why I'm in it. Exactly. I'm just asking to stand in solidarity. What it is? I'm not. <laughs> I, if you could sit down and think, I'm not robbing you. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that hundred is dope. Right. You pay one fee and don't worry about nothing else no more. Come on. You good? Come on. Ah, uh, man. I mean, but to each his own. I, you know, an old friend of mine said, you can't tell nobody how to feel. You know what I'm saying? If they feel like that, right. that's how they feel. You know, some people like champagne, drinking mimosas, and they get flesh, they go get a $30 Unlimited most. Go ahead. Yeah. But you're not gonna catch this energy. Yeah. It's a good energy. Yeah. You might catch a, a 24 ounce grass fed steak. <laughs> you know, with the bone, the yeah. tomahawk bone hanging 18 inches off the ledge. You yeah. feel me? Cooked up on a 650 degree lava rock. So. You know, sizzling it through so you can get the, the well done feature or the medium well feature. How you ever you eat? So I'm not gonna get too much. Just pull up Sunday. Grill you know powered by Octane. You already know. <laughs> Come on, man. 100. Hey, that's what's up, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's major. That's major. Uh, shit. You lost me. <laughs> 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 hey, that's major. I ain't gonna lie to you. How many events y'all thrown so far? Um, as far as the open bar situation, yeah. This is our second one. Okay. But the first one we did was last last um last month. It was it was dope. Mm -hmm. It was dope. You know, we still trying to get the word out there. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't win. We didn't win as far as numbers wise. You know, okay. We, we, we took one on the chin, but which is cool. You know, we, we growing. You know, our fan base came out, right. but you know that's the reason why. You know, I'm here. Talk, right. talk it up with you. Get this word out. Sure. Talk it up with other people. Get the word out. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and let them know what we got going on, man. Because it's a huge it's a huge world out there, man. And mm -hmm. I feel as if Octane is a is a dope, dope enterprise, a real huge dope enterprise that we we can't be denied from the world. For sure, I refuse to get denied from the world, man. Because at the end of the day, everybody got a little Octane in them, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you be yeah, I cook up the you know the major purpose podcast for, sure. for a reason. Yeah, that I means you got a little Octane in you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You woke up different. For like sure. you know what? Let's let's get cracking with this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Which led to my path being here, me meeting you, and for now sure. look, man, we we doing some things. Right. So you just man, I, I love the quote Nipsey all day, man. Find yeah. your purpose or you wasting air. And it's find just, your purpose or you wasting air. Find your purpose. Or you, I, everybody got a natural born uh, gift and ability to do something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And 
for you to come out with a major purpose podcast, that's huge. Sure. That's huge. That's huge in my opinion. You're giving people like myself a platform, man, to talk about this thing, man. And for sure. That's that I, I give great solidarity for y'all boys, man. Like that that this is you I think it's one of the most underrated things ever to especially for our our our, our, our skin color. Mm -hmm. Because we're not known to access like that. You know right. what I'm saying? We're not known to access like that, to have an access to certain things, man. And mm -hmm. one of the things that we do have access to is the media. Right. You know what I'm saying? Facebook, Twitter, social, um, what's, what's the other ones? Whatever. Snapchat. I said social. Yeah, Instagram, all, yeah, all, all that good yeah, yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, dog, <laughs> what y'all doing, man, giving people like myself, like, to talk about what... Yeah. That's 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 amazing. That's that's huge, man. Like yeah. that's 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 a that's a big thing, man. <laughs> don't, don't take that for granted. That'd dog. be huge. That'd yeah. be a major. You feel me? That'd be amazing. That'd be major. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, how many? So how many events do you plan on throwing in a month? Oh, we we plan to do this octane open bar thing for the duration until this thing get built. Because so is it every Sunday? Once once a month. Once a month. Okay, okay, okay. In the middle, we we did this thing really strategically because. Mm -hmm. You know, we know rent comes up in the beginning of the month and towards the end. So we want right. to, like, you know, prepare the people, you know, for what it is, you know. Okay. And we did it in the middle of the month, like the third Sunday mm -hmm. or the Sunday before coming up on the third. Mm -hmm. um, once a month. Um, we always give our gifts, the, you know, the day of the event. Right. I seen you had gifts. What gifts you had? <laughs> oh, matter of fact. This man pulled up like it was Christmas. <laughs> Cue the gifts. You know we always give our gifts. You know you got right. your own know, octane factory bag right huh? here. You know. Oh shit, for real? Yeah. yeah okay. And you gotta do a prediction as well. All right, we go to like 15 more minutes. Let me see the. Uh, okay. What's the gifts? This man brought gifts. Yeah. When you, when you, I don't know if you, you your martial status. I don't know if you married or single. I don't know, but we got a bar shaker for you. You know what I'm saying? Octane factory bar shaker. The, we got the measurements there for you too as well. Nah, you this man got us lit. Yeah. Hey. So that way you know. Uh, I'm gonna DM you some recipes, so we got a little date, you know, man. You shake it up real nice and take care of them, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, do, do my boy. Appreciate of course, that. we gotta get you right. That's love. That's we got love. The, the Ben Franklin Octane expired, you feel me? Shirt, sure, you know what I'm saying? With the Octane the way. Octane on the back. way, you feel you know? me? The yeah. Octane way, man. I gotta make sure we take care of you, that, that, you know what I'm saying? In that manner, man, just for you know, hey, man. allowing us to have us here, man. For to, sure. to bring it all around, I wanna say, Again, I want to say I, I'm, I'm inspired. I'm, you're doing something real major. Like, it's no mistake that you're on the Major Purpose Podcast, man. I want to tell you to keep doing what you're doing. That's real, now. Regardless of the, you know, it ain't going, you are, I can't even, you already been through, so <laughs> you know it ain't going to be easy. Keep failing forward. Keep doing what you're doing. We're going to wrap it up now. What we do all I guess on the Major Purpose Podcast, I'm going to need you to take that, that, that visionary mindset that you had. Mm-hmm. Looking into the future, about three to five years, tell me what Gino Octane is going to be. Tell me where, where, where's everything going to be at, man. I can't tell you that. Mm, what's that? I can't tell you that. I can't. Uh -uh. Life changing the New York Minute. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you always going to fight a battle up a steep hill, you know? Mm. Um, what I would want, of course. What would you want? 3240 Northwest Davy Road Extension. Yeah. That 3,000 infrastructure foot. Building, you know that two-story building, clear glass. You see the octane signal, right? Like like the Batman sign waving through the sky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Octane. You, yeah, of course. Like you know what I'm saying? That's what I see, okay. I, and that's what's gonna happen. For sure. But realistically speaking, I know life come with its obstacles. I know life come with its hurdles. Okay. And I'm willing to, I'm willing to die for this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I and I say that in literal stance. You know what I'm saying? Everything I've uh, Believed in mm. or so on and so forth, I'm protected by all costs. Right. So, um, I don't know. Right. I mean, I can't tell you if I, I've never been that type of dude. I, I've just I always been that guy to, to approach each day mm -hmm. and lay a brick down, lay a foundation down each day and just keep growing, keep growing, keep growing and, uh, 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 until. It would be crazy for me to say, boy, we're okay. five, six years. We're going to... Yeah. Nah, because I've been through too much saying, boy, life going this way, then it's... Uh, right. Boy, exit off early, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. 
Uh, one day for sure, it's gonna be some octane. Yeah, it's just, gonna be some octane energy. Just, just stay down. For just, sure. just for, for all the octane nation out there, man. Just, just stay down. Stay with me. Trust me, man. Like yo, if you know me, man, you, right. I do not sleep. Right. I do not sleep, and that's not the only. I know we kind of running out of time, man. But I, I do want to. Nah, cut. Talk your shit, cut. I, I do want to mention the, the, the workout situation too, man. Shout out to Tabu What's Fitness. The work? See, we've been talking for so I ain't even realized we've been talking for a minute, cause you got so much energy. This nigga octane for real, cut. <laughs> this nigga octane for real, cut. I can talk to this nigga all day, but this man feeding me, right? He just be talking and it just be feeding me, but it's no bullshit. But what's the workout thing, man? What you uh, got going on? With nah, that? man, Ernie, man. Shout out to Ernie Earn, aka Mr. Earn Your Key. You gotta earn your key with this guy, man. If you earn believe, your key. Yeah, if you ain't earning your key, man, you gonna tell you get out of his gym. <laughs> um, Tabu, man, that, that that's my guy Ernie Tabu too. He he got a gym out there uh, out east, uh, just just behind uh, Total Wine um, over there on Biscayne on 151st. Mm -hmm. And he changed my life, man. Me and I always grew up like having pressure, mm -hmm. so I never knew how to channel my pressure. So I always, I always like that's what led to me playing ball, okay. whatever, whatnot. So I'll play ball just to ease it off or so. Right. And then you know when 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 COVID happened. Obviously, you know, it was all the parks was closed and everything like that, so I couldn't play ball. So okay. I said, fuck it, man. I'm gonna lift me some weights. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I call up I call up Ernie. I call up my cousins, you know what I'm saying? I went to the went to the east side, man, and I start start killing weights. I'm like, damn, I love this feeling. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was dope. They say you wanna work out away from from a good feeling. Yeah. You know, like, that's it real. A good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so so oh yeah, so from there. I love how it, it, it shape shifted my mind mentally. It was mm -hmm. more more than an aspect. Like he'll sit, we'll sit down, you know, after each workout, and mm -hmm. you know, we'll just talk about life itself, man. So, mm -hmm. Tabu was a whole family, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And recently, man, uh, I had a convo with him, mm -hmm. and, I, and I told him, I said, man, I ain't gonna lie, what you did for me was amazing, mm -hmm. and I want to spread that to to other people. Right? And he was like, hey, okay, like what you mean? I'm like, man. Do the gym open Saturdays? You're mm -hmm. like, nah. Like, you know, I got the kids and track me and tennis mm -hmm. and everything. I was like, all right. I said, let me host the class on Saturday. Maybe bring some people in here and, and um, you know, what you did for me, I, I hopefully I could do for them. Right. Man, he he ain't say a word. He just hugged me. He hugged me. He told me I'll be right back. He came right back. He gave me a login. To, he gave me a login. He yeah. created a flyer yeah. for the burn Saturdays yeah. featuring Gino Octane and... <laughs> I was like, whoa, I kind of wanted to be Vietnam Saturdays. <laughs> we like, no, nah. like, nah, we can't do that. Like, all right, all right, I'm cool, man. But yeah, long story short, man. He I, said Vietnam Saturdays. Yeah, I wanted it to be, you know what I'm saying? Have all the thumbs and all But nah, he, I was just fucking off, though, man. But yeah, we, we ended up having our first class last week, man. Mm -hmm. And nice crowd showed up, man. And everything that Ernie was able to bless me with, man, I, I, I transpired it and, and, and you know, gave it to the people. Yeah. I gave it to the people, man. And, man, we we got like 21 heads showing up next week. You know man. what I'm saying? So, if you want to work out too, nigga, you know, you know, Hey, <laughs> that working out, that's another thing. that just, People don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People like, hey, you got a little bit. It's like, uh, mm. the bigger I get, the most stressed out I've been. Because <laughs> if I got shit on my head, just, I'm telling you to go hit a quick workout. It's the mental. Nah, like, that shit different though, yeah. man. I I really go into a dark place, man. Like yeah. I never knew I could have squat mm -hmm. three thirty five yeah. until I told myself, like you know, imagine nigga ass nigga talking about he didn't yeah. know he could squat. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Like a third, you guys, anybody go to the gym or three thirty five? What that's a different kind of. That's like three plates on yeah, that. Yeah, that's on that big in the bench. Yeah, three plates. <laughs> yeah, three plates and two hey. teams. You know, huh? So, okay, then. Yeah, so. We ain't, yeah, I ended up cooking that up, boy. I had to take my mind somewhere mentally for that one, man. So, feel so. the burn Saturdays. Feel the burn Saturdays, man. But Gino Octane, that's love. Go ahead, tell the people where they can find you at. Instagram, Gino underscore Octane. Twitter, Octane Enterprises. Uh, Snapchat, I barely be on there, man. I need to give that up to the media. I got a new media team, so they're going to be taking up over my Snapchat, which is Octane's very own. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Gino Octane, too, as well. For sure, you yeah, heard man. it here first. It's a major purpose podcast. You can catch me at Designed by Laurent. 
Hey man, appreciate you for coming through, man. I appreciate you, bro. I got that octane in me. Yeah, listen, you show up with that shirt, man. But on so Sunday, man, we, we, we're gonna discount you off, man. Octane, you feel me? The octane way is major purpose, man. That's, that's, you, that's different right there, man. Yeah, love, man. Love, love bro. Man.